Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out more Black Adder. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, man. I really enjoyed the first episode. I appreciate all the comments. And thanks for letting me know to make sure I watch all of the end credits because it's really important because I get a little tidbits of stuff in there. You guys said you couldn't spoil it for me. You couldn't let me know what's going to happen, but the end is really important. Um, I shouldn't skip through it like I do when I do other shows where I skip through like Office to find that one clip. Don't do that. Watch the whole thing or I miss something. So I'm going to make sure I do that going forward. So let's go on and jump into this one, folks. We'll definitely talk about it more in the end. Right, Morrick. Let's, really go thick Let's try again, shall we? <clears throat> this is called adding. If I have two beans, and then I add two more beans, what do I have? Some beans. <laughs> yes, this. Now try again. One, two, three, four. So how many are there? Three. What? And that one. <laughs> three and that one. What are you wearing round your neck? Ah, it's my new ruff. You look like a bird who swallowed a plate. <laughs> it's the latest fashion, actually, and as a matter of fact, it makes me look rather sexy. To another plate-swallowing bird, perhaps? <laughs> if Lord was... High Executioner is dead. Oh, well. <laughs> Murdered, of course. Now, oddly enough, no, they usually are, but this one just got careless one night and signed his name on the wrong dotted line. List for the post. Of Lord High Executioner. Is it just him? Lord Blackadder? <laughs> Cold blooded. <laughs> Better make sure there's a few anchors and things on the souvenir store. Aye, aye, sir. Never ever try to be funny in my presence again, Percy. <laughs> right. Buckingham and Ponsonby on Friday. It's not right, though, is it? Uh, well, no. I mean, now you come to mention it, my lord, there was absolutely no evidence against young Pharaoh at all. It was an outrageous travesty of justice. No, it's not right he should be on Wednesday when we could stick him in on Monday and have half the week off. Good morning, team. My name is Edmund Blackadder, and I'm the new minister in charge of religious genocide. <laughs> now, if you play straight with me, you'll find me a considerate yes, employer. <laughs> yes, sir. Ploppy... The jailer. That's what I'm <laughs> Ploppy, son of Ploppy. Yeah. Ploppy, son of Ploppy. The we jailer. live in an age where illness and deformity are commonplace, and yet, Ploppy, you are without a doubt the most repulsive individual. <laughs> I would shake your hand, but I fear it would come off. <laughs> There's no many bosses would be that considerate, sir. So you are married to oh, No! Many people think that, but it's pure coincidence. <laughs> we did laugh when first we found out. Good morning, Mistress Ploppy, he'd say. But he does sometimes make the tea. Yes. And your name is? Aldrich, my lord. But I'll change it to Ploppy if it'll make things easier. <laughs> no, thank you. I can cope with more than one name. What are you doing here? Well, it's a hobby. It's a real realist, sir. <laughs> now then, we're going to run a fast, efficient operation, and I intend to do as little work as possible. My deputy, Percy, here, will explain. As you know, we are scheduled to execute Drake and Effingham on Monday, Lord Farrow on Wednesday, and Buckingham and Ponsonby on Friday. Lord Blackadder has decided to move Farrow to Monday. My husband dies tomorrow. I beseech you, even if you cannot save his life. Which I don't think either of us would want, seeing as how he's a horrible traitor. Of course not, Your Majesty. But if he must die, may I see him? How odd. Mm. You should not see him. I wouldn't marry someone I had never seen. You should take marriage a bit more seriously next time. <laughs> oh, come now, Lady Farrow. Quite not it. You may see your husband, my dear. And if that horrid old Edmund tries to stop you, get him pissed. It's a warrant for his own execution. Oh, thank you, ma'am. May flights of angels sing you to your rest. All three, Drake, Effingham, <coughs> Farrow. Splendid. Any interesting last words? Well, Farrow was rather moving, my lord. A great strong man. He stood there gaunt and noble in the early morning mist. And in a... My lord, there is a lady outside to see you. Oh, is she pretty? I don't know. What do you think? Well, I don't know, do I? I haven't seen her yet. <laughs> Good evening, Lord Blackadder. Wonderful. Well, it's a... I wish to see my husband tonight. <laughs> Not really possible. Actually. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I don't want a bag on my head. In order, nincompoop, that she should believe that you're her husband. 
What, did he used to wear a bag on his head? <laughs> <laughs> young, young so floppy stupid. here yeah. has a point, my lord. Lord Farrell never wore a bag. He has taken to wearing a bag. <laughs> she can then chat to Baldrick, imagining him to be the man she married, and the Queen need never know of my little miscalculation. Although there is something lurking at the back of my head that bothers me. It's probably a flea. Though I should warn you that he, uh, he will not be quite as you knew him. You fiend! What have you done to him? We have put She's so a bag over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Does have such shapely widows, their wives. Well, I'll just go check he's bagged up. My lord! Uh, what is it now, Ploppy? Lord Farrow was considerably taller, more than a yard. If you want something done properly, you've got to do it yourself, haven't you? Anything else I should know? Mm. Oh, yes. He had a very deep voice. Lord Farrow was taller even than you, my lord. Yes, oh, yes. giant of a man. Yes, Tall sorry about the delay, madam. Uh, as you know, you are about to meet your husband, whom you will recognize on account of the fact that he has got a bag over his head. I hardly recognize him at all, actually. You will be telling me his arms grown back next. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse just for a sec. This play is falling apart. You let me go, my lord! Don't let me see my husband! Right. Jesus. To <laughs> the left! Good luck! Glutus, you really are prat, aren't you, Professor? <laughs> right, now don't forget, in two minutes you interrupt me, all right? And no more than two minutes, otherwise I'm in real trouble, and don't... James? My darling. How are you? Oh, fine, fine. Food's not bad. Apart from the sausages. <laughs> Your voice is somehow different. Oh, how? <laughs> What's wrong with it? What happened to it? Well, well, I'm rather hurt. You don't remember yourself, in fact. But it was only cut off at the elbow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, well, uh, well so I got stupid. into a scrap here with a young kind person. Well, then, let us leap on the moment that we have been given and use it to its full. What? Let me do this last thing for you. What wife could do more? What? Oh, what? no! Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Time's up. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Come on. Time ever in my whole life. Oh, God. I've been on this poultry, boring <laughs> planet for 30 years. That's the first time anyone oh. has ever. But has do not been... despair, my lord. Oh, oh, my God. Your brother petitions the Queen tomorrow morning. There may still be hope. Oh, oh shit. Hello. <laughs> I'd write him off. No, 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 you can't. He, he's a complete cat of the first water. Can't is not a word for princes, Lord Blackadder. How oh, very true, Majesty. Anyway, I'm having killed on Friday. <laughs> Let's see if there are any good heads in Traitor's Cloister on the way. Oh, God, we'll have to wear the Queen's gone. Did you know, Pharaoh? Oh, yes, yeah, so they were childhood friends. Oh, well, if she sees his head on a spike, she'll, she'll realize he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you fetch the body, I'll cover the head. <laughs> His head <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mind that. He knew it was only little me. <laughs> and I must say his head did look jolly super on its spike. Have you no heads on spikes today? Um, no. Must be off to say bye bye to Ponsonby. <laughs> Would you care to stroll with me a while? Just if you've got time, if you're not too busy. No, sorry, ma'am. Affairs I of office. Would you care to stroll with me a while? Just if you've got time, if you're not too busy. Yes. <laughs> it would make the decade worth. Well, if you'll excuse me, ma'am, I've got some uh, business to attend to. Certainly. <laughs> but first, Evan, take my hand. Uh, Tell me uh, you'll forgive my former sharpness. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got the body, my lord, and I see you've got the head. Yes, but look, it's no good, Percy. No one's ever going to believe we've just cut it off. It's gone green. <laughs> oh, do. That genius Baldrick has killed the wrong bloke. We're saved. <laughs> saved! The pharaoh is alive and we're saved. Hooray! And when the queen gets back from seeing Ponce and B, we'll... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, we do! <laughs> <laughs> Nice here, is it? Oh, well, it's you, a little baby. Shut up, now, say. You! <laughs> no, not you. You're too repulsive. You! Yes, Your Royal Majestic Highness. Bring in Lord Ponsonby. Yes, Your Royal Majestic. Thank you. <laughs> so strange. Ponsonby turned out to be a traitor. 
Hey, you know what? Like I say, show me about a bag, didn't I'll turn to size. <laughs> So this is a decent episode, but I definitely enjoyed the first episode more. I think primarily because there are a lot more funny moments in the first episode. And it started off really funny with the dad convincing the daughter to be a hooker. Um, the medical scene was funny with the leeches stuff like that. When uh, Rick showed up and started acting a fool as Flash. And then all the other little funny stuff that happened in between that. It just was, I just feel like a lot more was going on in the first episode and there are a lot more funny moments. This one didn't seem to really get too funny until like the that big moment when old girl's about to go down on him. And then, then his buddy showed up last minute and stopped it. That was really funny. And there were just a few chuckles like here and there. So I definitely enjoyed the first one more. Not knocking the episode completely. Like I said before, with anything I watch, I do not expect every single episode to be hilarious. I do not expect every single episode to be a banger. But I do like to say what episodes are like more than others. And I do like to be honest with my reviews. And I definitely enjoyed the first episode more. So... With that being said, man, that is it. Anything else pops in my head, I would definitely comment it below the video for sure. And yeah, that's all, man. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.